What, if anything, would you do to increase student, family, and community power to set direction and change practices at individual schools? Uh, first of all, what I will do is that I will create a good relationship between the teachers, parents, and the school administrators. And I do believe that that's what is really missing. And I have seen that the parent, parent involvement is very less. The administration, the board of directors, they have to reach to, to the parents. They don't have to wait. They have to go to the neighborhoods. And they have to invite them to be part of the decision-making process so that we all collectively decide what's best for our schools and our students. A great school really needs strong teachers and strong leaders, but ultimately it also needs a community that's invested in its success. I think we have many schools in our district that are a good model for community and schools working together. And the result is really empowering for the stakeholders and makes things better for everyone. For example, at the Holland Neighborhood Association and Edison High School have really, uh, have really worked together uh, to strengthen both the school and the community. They've thrown large community barbecues for the, entire, for the entire neighborhood and they've collaborated to find millions of dollars for physical improvements for the school facility. I think the school, an effective school board member is really a conduit between the schools, the district, and the community and should know how to leverage relationships and resources. Well, I'd like to see more student empowerment for sure. There was a proposal at one of the forums recently, the Neighborhoods Organizing for Change Forum, to have students 16 and older be able to vote in school board elections, and that sounds like something definitely worth exploring. Uh, in addition, uh, when we're considering disciplinary policies and ways to get students empowered in dealing with disciplinary policies, I'd like to see when we're considering restorative justice programs, ways that students can be involved in that. So uh, at, at the school where I work, we have a peer mediation program that students can be engaged in. And when students get involved in programs like that, they tend to take ownership of the school. And when they take ownership of the school, that encourages them to be more involved potentially in education careers, education policy. In the long run, more student empowerment means more student engagement in education in general. Well, this is one of the things that I'm very uh, a big champion for. Uh, the reason is for that is uh, as someone who has been a part of a school that has been growing very aggressively at Lake Nokomis Community School, uh, one of the things that I saw initially before my kids even went to school was the idea that we walked around the neighborhood and started seeing people put yard signs in the front of their houses. And the yard signs were simply promoting Lake Nokomis Community School. And I thought, I never seen such a thing. I grew up in the suburbs, I will admit. I didn't live in the city and I couldn't imagine putting a yard sign in the front of my house promoting the local school. Well, it, it got me caught talking about it and I didn't have kids. Started talking to a couple of neighbors down at this park and the next thing you know, you know, I'm interested in my local public school. And, you know, it was a good thing for Lake Nokomis to reach out to the community. The next thing you know, you saw yard signs and business front windows. Uh, you saw them being held up at the Nokomis East Neighborhood Association. And so you started seeing community start talking about the schools and there's been a buzz going on. And ever since then, Lake Nokomis Community School, which just a simple outreach of reaching out to the neighborhood, reaching out to community members, reaching out to parents to be a part of something that's growing and something that's amazingly awesome is just something simple as a yard sign.